Damn, I got a like on Twitter from Jay's Two Cents. Shout out to Jay. Yo guys, Jonathan here, and this is a $750 product red iPhone, and this is a $20 skin. So the product red iPhone 7 has been out for a little over a week now. If you caught my unboxing, my general feelings towards the phone is yes, that red looks amazing, it is super tempting, but it might not be the smartest buying decision right now, specifically because the iPhone 7 is now six months old, which puts us at the halfway point until the next generation iPhone is out. On top of that, if you already own an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, it does not make sense to drop $750 plus just to have a red phone. The other thing, and maybe the bigger controversy, was why Apple decided to opt for the white front on the product red iPhone and not go for the stealthy black and red. Personally, I really like the white front. I thought it looked clean, I thought it looked classy, but a ton of you out there want a black and red, and with that, you have a couple options. By far, the riskiest option would be to disassemble your iPhone. You can do this by either Frankensteining parts from a black iPhone, or the cheaper route would be to order the screen online. Now, the problem with this is because Touch ID is actually connected to Logic Board, if you wanted to take the safer route and not potentially break your Touch ID, that's gonna leave you with a red back, black front, and a white button that sticks out like a sore thumb. Conversely, if you wanted to level up to advanced mode like my buddy Danny Winget and you want to take that risk and disassemble everything, higher risk, bigger reward, but the end result is a red back, black front, and black touch ID. Now, if you were awesome at taking things apart and putting them back together, fantastic. But I could see why a lot of people would be kind of hesitant to do this because honestly, it is a near thousand dollar risk. So jumping back to the skin, which is significantly cheaper and much safer, whether you have an iPhone 7, 6S, 6, or even Google Pixel for that matter, that is gonna give you access to that sweet, sweet red. Now, disclaimer, Colorware did not sponsor this video specifically. I actually sent them out some phones to wrap and send back, but if you do want to pick one of these up, a little bit does go back and support the channel. Or maybe, if you want to win one of these, go ahead and drop a like down below. So, giving you guys a rundown of the goods I got in, this is an iPhone 7 Plus with their formula red matte on the back and black leather on the front. If you dig that really clean matte look, this looks phenomenal. And beyond the red, there are a ton of other color options. The reason we are here, though, is this Candy Apple Gloss red, which my goodness, looks good. For those of you familiar with Colorware, you know they've made their name with custom painted tech and they've taken that skill over to the skin game and the end result is something you really haven't seen before. This looks like a painted freaking foam, but it's not, it is a $20 skin. No joke, when I got these in, I could still smell a little bit of that freshly coated paint on the skin, and it's probably not the safest idea to sniff your phone, but you get the idea. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna do one of those basketball games where you gotta keep your eye on the phone. Which one is which? Keep your eye, the crowd is going crazy. Can you tell which one is the real deal? We're swooping, you don't know what's happening right now. Which one is the real iPhone? When you stack these two side by side, this being the real product red iPhone 7, this being the skin, I gotta say the skin actually looks a little better and pops more and you guys are seeing this right on camera for yourselves. This is gonna get you the black Apple logo, the black hardware, and on the front of this, I went with a carbon fiber black front, which looks awesome. Next, you quickly saw me tease the red Google Pixel and this is an XL in all of its red glory. What I like specifically about the Pixel is how you can mix and match. So on the main portion, I got that smooth, shiny, glossy candy apple red and I'm complimenting it with a red leather which looks phenomenal. As far as the front goes, this is black leather which is a great contrast to the red back. Flipping the switch for a second, as cool as that red iPhone is, it really made me want a blue iPhone and now I got one. I've kind of teased a blue MacBook here and there. I got a ton of questions on where I got it from and no, it is not a painted MacBook. It is a painted skin on the MacBook. Same thing applies here. You can see how much this blue pops on camera and pair that with a carbon fiber white front and this is the perfect combination for me. Now, maybe you don't like blue. Maybe you're not an OKC fan. Maybe you bleed purple and love the Lakers. Not sure why, but what? But seriously, look how good these look. And just like the blue iPhone, I got a white contrast up front. This is actually white leather, which also looks crazy good. So it's safe to say whether you want red, blue, purple, orange, your phone, your MacBook, there is probably an option for you. Now, if you want a custom wrapped iPhone 7 or potentially the brand new Galaxy S8, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss that announcement. This is Jonathan and I will catch you guys later.